So there's this really great idea for having students do some word work using the rainbow words um, activity, putting that inside of Seesaw with some um, templates of high frequency words. So the new activities feature in Seesaw will make this super easy to do. However, um, I'm going to show you how you could create the directions and just save them in a Google Doc. So this would be really simple to copy and paste and use again and again, as well as share with your colleagues um, so that everyone's not kind of reinventing the wheel as you're doing this. So let me show you what I mean. When I go into my class and I'm going to share an activity and I want to go ahead and create a new activity. So I'm going to call this one rainbow words and we're going to do the word my. Now I can just get into this Google Doc and I'm going to copy and then just paste those instructions right here so that I'm not having to retype. If I did just edit, I had the word um, the already in my activity library. If I edit that, it's going to change the word the. Um, and so this way, if I'm just copying and pasting each time I'm doing a new word, it's going to save all of these different words um, into my activity library without me retyping these directions each time. From here, I could add voice instructions. I'm working with kindergarten students, so these voice instructions, especially on the first few they do, might be really helpful. I'm going to go ahead and attach an example here. So I'm going to grab the my from the template from my awesome friend Sarah Malco. And now I'm going to do a really poor job using the um, trackpad on my Mac here. Ah, that's your recording? Yep. And I'm tracing my. And I usually have my students do this four times just to kind of get that. practice of writing these words. So I'm going to do one more time. Hey, you shouldn't do it my color I wanted. And kids can choose whichever colors they want. Now from here I want them to use their voice to record M Y my. And I'm going to save this as my example. He said my And then when I come down to add the template, I'm going to go ahead and add that same my template for the students to work on as well. And then from here, I could also decide, do I want all of my students to receive this template or do I just want some of the students to get it? Um, under more options, I could add a skill. I could also add a folder. This would be a great time to use like a high frequency word folder and stick it into that folder because that's going to make it much easier for me to find these when they're all done. So I'm going to go ahead and preview it. It looks great. I'm going to share that out to all of my students. And now you'll see if I go into my my activity library. Um, I have not just edited the, I've created a whole new word. So now I have um, the rainbow words for the, and I have the rainbow words for my saved in my activity library. What do you